Hey guys, this is Mubeen. Uh, so big deal today that we are going to be starting with the hematology. And the very first topic we are going to talk about uh, is going to be the blood transfusion reactions. And the reason I am uh, presenting that topic first before the red blood cell, the blood cell formations and the structures and all that is that we this is a connected topic with immunology and we have been completing immunology and this is a topic that is connected with that. So let us just do this one, uh, do not need a lot of background for hematology to understand the transfusion reactions plus this is a very important topic to understand uh, in the hospitals while, while you are practicing as a uh, health professional um, doctor or a paramedic. So uh, let us talk about it, so blood transfusion reactions. transfusion reactions. Although the transfusion reactions have really reduced but these still occur and in the developing or in the emerging uh, com countries these are even more uh, prevalent and it is uh, something that can be prevented by caring, correct typing and so on and these are also the same areas where the errors occur or issues or, or um, you know the human error can occur or computer error can occur or misplacement of one type into another type and so on. So let us look at it that what happens, what goes on into the patient's body. Uh, let us start with first of all what do we mean by blood typing. So the blood typing is based on ABO system. And what that means is that in every individual, that is me, that is you, anybody else, we all inherent, inherit, so let us say this is a mother, nice beautiful eyelashes, mother and here is a father, nice beautiful um, uh, mustaches, so mustache can be like this, like a boss. So uh, we've gotten the mother and father, and what they do is they both contribute one gene each for ABO system. So the gene that is available on the chromosome, so one chromosome from the father and one chromosome from the mother, the one gene from the father and one gene from the mother. The interesting thing is this: that the gene can either be A, B or O, but these are co-dominant, so these are co-dominant. What that means is that if father has given us the gene for, for the type A antigen and mother has given us the gene for type B antigen, then both of these will be expressed and our RBCs would have A and B. So because we have not gone there yet, I just want to start from here that when we are talking about the blood typing, the ABO means that we would either have blood group A or B or O or AB and that is determined by this genetic inheritance. So first of all, let us talk about what are these genes, what are these proteins and then let us talk about what happens here. So first thing first, on the surface of RBCs, and many other body tissue cells even in our secretions, we have A, B or O antigens. These are proteins. So what do we mean? Let us start from the O antigen. The antigen O is actually called H antigen. It is called H antigen and it is comprised of some sugars and here is how it look like. So we have N acetyl or acetyl glucosamine that is one, so glucose connected with the N acetyl. So, N acetyl glucosamine connected to galactose that is connected to fucose. This is the H antigen. So this is one, that antigen would give rise towards the O blood group, so we will talk about it, but H antigen. The important thing to note here 
H antigen is very weakly antigenic. So, presence of H antigen does not trigger antibody reactions that is why we call it blank or O. So, A H antigen then is the A antigen. So, I am going to make the exact same structure. This structure acts as a base structure. So, I am going to make the same structure. So, we have gotten the glucose connected with the N acetyl. So, N acetyl glucosamine that is then connected with the galactose which is connected to fucose. So, that is the H antigen. Now, on top of that is another galactose molecule, another same molecule as galactose that is connected with N acetyl as well. So, we have N acetyl galactosamine. Remember, this is N acetyl glucosamine, glucosamine. This is N acetyl galactosamine. So, N acetyl galactosamine, galactosamine. So, this one, 1 A over here and 1 A over here, more A's. This is blood group A. So, this one is A antigen. So, a person whose RBCs and other tissue cells and secretions show this combination of sugars or this antigen that person is said to have A and we will go into that detail that how does the A form, but this is the antigen. Now, let us make B antigen. B antigen is actually going to be very simple same thing except the N acetyl here. So, check this out same base structure. N acetyl glucosamine attached to galactosamine. So, this much is common, this is H antigen. Now, attach a galactosamine, a galactose here, and you got the B antigen. So, this is B antigen. So, H antigen. H antigen is this one. This is actually common in all antigens. H antigen itself, so here this much is actually non antigenic, but then B and A are both antigenic, and the difference between the B and A is galactose is common, N acetyl is the only difference. So, N acetyl galactosamine here and galactosamine here that is the difference. So, even with that difference. Uh, these two antigens they cross react that means the antibodies to A actually do not tolerate B and so on. So, this is the basis this is the molecular structure here. Now, let us see what happens uh, how do we form the blood groups. So, let us let us make a little table here. Let us say this is father and this is mother and we are going to get as children offsprings of these individuals. We are going to get one of the three genes on our chromosomes. So, for example, mother will give us A or B or O and similarly, father would give us A, B or O. So, let us see here father A, B or O or H antigen, mother A, B and O. Now, these are co dominant. So, when mother and father give us whatever antigens, these antigens will be expressed. So, now let us see father gave us A and mother gave us A, A, A antigens produced by these two genes and two chromosomes the blood group will be A. Then father gave us the A, mother gave us B, this will be A B blood group. Now, remember this, this is very important I have seen many students confused about this that what does the blood group mean? Is it the antigen or this 
structure present on our RBC or is it the antibodies present in our serum? So, the answer is that the antigens present on our RBC what is what determines the blood group. So, if my blood group, if my RBC or the tissue or my secretions are showing B antigen then I am blood group B or if my RBCs are showing A antigen then I am blood group A. So, this is what is happening and this antigen are these antigen are present on the surface of RBCs, our RBCs. Now, AO father gave us A antigen and the mother gave us H or O this will also be blood group O. So, if you see here blood group A I said O instead this is A blood group A and blood group A, AA or AO still makes A. Now, here fathers B, mother donated A and that will be AB. Father B, mother donated B that will be B. Father donated B, mother O or H that will be B. So, again BB or BO is B. And the reason is because the H antigen is empty, it does not do very, very many things, it is a weak antigen. Now, let us talk about here father donated O, mother gave us A and that again empty and A is A, father is O, mother is B, that will be B, father is O and mother is O, that will be O. So, if you see here the blood groups that are found in people are going to be A, B, O and A, B and what does A, B, A blood group will mean? A will mean either both of them are A or one of them is A and the other one is O, right. So, A, A or O, A is A, B will mean of course, B, B or O, B or B, O. O will mean O O and that is it and A B will mean A B and that is it. So, these are the antigens. What does A B mean? A B means on the RBC surface both of them are showing. What does A mean? A means, so let us let us make it in terms of the RBCs as well. A RBCs. will show A, so I am just going to make it like this with NSE and NSE and FUCOS. So, this is if this is let us say father and the same thing from the mother, these are codominant I keep saying it, then this is A. So, A from father, A from mother is A then A and O. So, if mother only delivered or father only delivered this much the H antigen then it is AO and so on. So, you can make for all of these. This is the structure once again these antigens are not only present on the surface of RBCs these can be present and these are present on the other tissue cells as well and these are actually in about 85 percent of the, the people these are secreted in saliva and other secretions too. So, that is how the typing 